All right, all right. Sorry I'm a few minutes late tonight, but better late than never. Um, I'm just about ready to go live with the movie trivia schmodown. Tonight's match is a qualifying match in the singles league. William the Beast Bibiani versus Scott Mance. Should be a good game. Uh, let me just adjust that there. All right. I am ready to go live here. All right. Welcome back to the Movie Trivia Schmodown Play Along Reaction. I'm Jeff Malicki, and if you love movies as much as I do, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I do movie reviews, movie news, box office predictions, trailer reaction videos, and of course, the Movie Trivia Schmodown Play Along Reactions like we're doing here live tonight. Uh, so, you know... Do, go, do me a favor, go ahead and hit subscribe and then click that little bell notification icon so you, that you don't miss anything. Um, why is that taking forever to... There we go. So I'm not like fully awake. <laughs> I actually fell asleep on the couch earlier, that's why I'm a little bit late. So anyway, got a great match tonight in the movie trivia showdown. William the Beast Bibiani versus Scott Mance. Should be a great game. Uh, both of them really know their stuff. Um, I'm going to give the slight edge to Bibiani. Um, I think he's been on a more of a roll lately, and I just think his movie knowledge is slightly better than Mance. Mance has had a few slip-ups recently. Um, as always, it really comes down to what happens in round two and what category they spin on the wheel. If Mance lands on movie release dates, then it could be game over. Um, we don't know how much Mance loves movie release dates as a category. Um, but anyway, I'm enough with the rambling. Let's go ahead and grab your whiteboard. It's time to schmodown. Here we go. Oh. I am sick and tired of your so-called leadership, your condescending pep talks, your attempts to give me training. Look at you guys. You guys were the Mac and me of movie trivia in your last <laughs> match. And this? What was this, the Nuki? I don't even know what to do with this. Excuse me, everybody. Oh, Look heck? who's back. What's oh, Mr. I can't here? answer. I back to the future question. This guy makes me look like a champion. Listen, You're <laughs> nothing. I'm tired. No, what are you talking about? no, screw you. If you would spend more time supporting this guy instead of building this outrageous outfit, maybe more time watching recent movies or even classics, you'd be a lot better than you are. He deserves better. He, de he deserves to be the champion, and he's gonna be the champion. I tried to make I him champion. I tried to make him champion, he wouldn't listen. Job. So he was the worst. I betray you! <laughs> that was hilarious. I am back in the singles match. I needed this confidence booster. I needed this. I've been waiting a year to make my mark to come back in a big way, and I feel like I just did. Yes, I, I actually think I am the best in the game. When you look at my stats, when you look at my uh, percentage of questions simply gotten right, I'm crushing the yes, vast majority is. of the competition. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to plow through singles. I'm we are going to plow through the teams in the ultimate Schmodown. Yeah. And it is my goal that by the end of the year, at the Schmodown Spectacular, I will be the very first person in the Schmodown yeah. to have both belts, team and singles, simultaneously. I am There's a potential the there. With Roka. It's gonna yeah. happen, it's gonna happen in teams, singles, hopefully both, but eventually both. Uh, and until then, I am gonna fight competitors like Scott Mance, who has defeated Roka before, and I'm yeah. going to show that I can defeat him. Welcome back Woo! to the movie 
Trivia Schmodown. I'm Christian Harloff. I am Mark Ellis. And Christian, you know, I don't throw the word fade around gently. I, I don't use the word density like it's some. <laughs> that's from Back to the Future. Kismet also applies. Hi. Hi. Nice to see you, Axel Rose. So uh, we are here today because this is a qualifying match as yep. the ultimate Schmodown is right around the corner. The singles tournament is right around the corner. So are the teams. But here we are. These are two guys, both William the Beast, Bibiani, at two and two. The boos are coming in already. And the Mance man, Scott Mance, both two and two. They did not have, they did not have to play each other, but the challenge was made. Ricky Haberg, who has been just <laughs> causing havoc since the Collider collision. He's literally breaking stuff. He is causing <laughs> absolute uh, panic here. He basically took the four horsemen that we knew. He split them up. He's been in Bibiani's head, and now Bibiani and Haberg are together. The Growling Commandos are here, and Bibiani wants to prove that he's so much better than Roca that he's going to embarrass Scott Mance here tonight. That's right, in a match that is sure to break the hoops. I don't think it'll be that close. In one arena. But I do think Bibiani is Scott gonna Mance, win. they both shout at the top of their lungs quite often, and there was a panic afoot here in the studio today as the movie release dates wedge could not be located for upwards of three hours moments before we went to air as we are here right now it was found it is located and guess what christian the beast may not like it it's on the wheel i think it was a i think it was a ricky hayberg play but we'll see the question is also how is the beast going to handle the booze today because after doing that you against, mean alcohol no <laughs> no the same thing that snyder and jt get all the time ah booze, booze. hate but let's first let's let's go ahead and hear from both the competitors right now Mance Man is back. Singles competition schmodown after my triumphant win against my son Hal Rudnick. Although, let's be fair, that was a that was a shitty game. And I only won because I got move of release dates. Move of release dates. Well, this is this is it. I am I am back. I'm in it to win it. And we're just mm, getting started. I went back in the competition and I'm ready to go the distance. My man here is gonna take down Mance. It's, he's gonna wipe the floor with him. He's gonna embarrass Mance. And in doing so, it's gonna embarrass Roka. And that's what I'm looking for. I want Roka humiliated. And I got my boy here to do the heavy lifting. If Mance can't do math, what can he do? I can take on the beast anytime. And I'm gonna prove it right now. You know, he's gonna let his beastness get the best of him. I got it all here. I'm cool, calm, and collected. I got the knowledge. I'm ready to go. I'm pumped. The beast. He's, he's looking at me as a stepping stone. Look in the mirror, buddy. You're the stepping stone right here, pal. Take this, beast. Scott Mance, the Star Trek man, the movie release dates man, and the not much else man. I'm actually not Pretty terribly much. worried. Uh, Scott is a nice guy, and nice guys finish last when you compete against them in a schmodown. Let's do this. I've been working out. Mance is back, baby. Singles, let's do this. Mance is just practice, ladies and gentlemen. We're taking this thing all the way, and you're here to witness it. Get ready for it. Go on. From hell's heart, I growl at thee. For hate's sake, <laughs> I growl at thee. Growl, 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 growl. All right. Well, Booker T's back. It's been a few weeks. What's up, guys? It's Booker T, five-time champ, WWE Hall of Famer, and we're back here on the Smodown. This week is going to be the beast taking on the Mance Man, Scott Manson. Everybody know ever since... The beast turned his back on the horseman. He wants just one thing, and that is to embarrass Roka. And I don't think there's a better way to embarrass Roka than to beat an old rival like Scott Mance. Now, I'm going to tell you something. The beast is determined to destroy Scott Mass and put everybody in the league on notice. Hey, I'm here, baby, but let me tell you something. Scott Mance, he ain't no joke, man. This kid is tough. He's always one movie release date away from <laughs> victory. He's gonna be tough. That's true. He's gonna be good. But I tell you, the beast, he's on a mission, man. He's on fire, baby. Smoke it. 
I got the beast, man. Absolutely. Booker T, five-time champ. That's the way I see it. Hey, guys, make sure you check out your reality of wrestling. We download new episodes every Sunday. And I know you can dig that. Sucker. And I'm out. Look, there you go. You hear Haber. No surprise. They really want to just destroy Mance, and they want to catapult Bibiani. This is, they're saying this is his road to the championship, and Mance goes, uh-uh. No way. This isn't going to happen. I'm a competitor here. I'm going to make it. He wants to be in the Ultimate Showdown. He didn't get into the singles last year because Roca beat him, didn't let him get in there. So Bibiani's trying to do the same thing tonight, but Mance ain't having it. Uh, Mance is a positive ray of light in a dark universe, but you know what? The only way to defeat somebody like that is to be like a John Roca, is to go straight heel on that. Can Bibiani's handle the booze that he's going to get today, the vitriol that the audience may in fact give him, and overcome that to overcome Mance? Well, we're about to find out here in the Ultimate Showdown quality qualifying match. Ow! All right, here's the tail of the tape. Obviously, Scott Mance, movie release dates, Oscar movies, and anything related to La La Land. <laughs> and then you got The Beast, William The Beast, Bibiani, who has 80s movies. He's got action adventure movies. He has Oscar movies and scaring you with his mask. That's all it says, just scaring very, you with his mask. Very, very terrifying. Here to introduce Scott Mance are Faye Dunaway and Warren Beatty. Come on out, guys. <laughs> oh, they're getting booed, too. Apparently, they're right. not here. They are not here, but we are here, and we are ready for this match. Mark, are you ready to go? Give me that throw. I'm ready to go. Ladies, that, that's horrible. Horrible. <laughs> horrible. <laughs> Keep a straight face. I, no. no. Maintain professionalism. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, it's time for the, the movie, movie trivia schmodown. Qualifying match for the ultimate schmodown. Introducing, Introducing first. first. Representing <laughs> Team <laughs> with a record of nice two intro wins, music. Two defeats. He is the one, the only, the Mansman, Scott Mance! Oh, repping his favorite band, coming out to his favorite musical. Scott Mance playing All right, to Scott the crowd. Mance playing to the crowd there. He At is, his perch. He is two and two. Question is, what are we going to see from Scott Mance? What are we going to see from today? Is it going to be the Scott Mance of Lydia the Patriots that day? Or is it going to be that Scott Mance of played against Hal Rundick in his last match? Which Ryan Gosling from La La Land are we going to get today? The one with all the dreams or the one playing in a shitty 80s cover band? We're about to find out. <laughs> and his opponent with a record of two wins, two defeats, and one knockout. He is representing the Growling Commandos. Give it up for William the Beast, Bibiani! Hey, Bert, <laughs> close the curtain Bibiani there. The Bibiani bird. has hands. Yeah, he's feasting. He is he's feasting. Clapping. Not with his own hands, yeah, with Hayberg. hands of a dead human. <laughs> yeah, and Hayberg is, is, Hayberg. Oh, Hayberg is hurting Mance. Get Ricky, this is... Mance. Yeah, oh, he's yelling at Mance. We know the history there between Mance and This is supposed to be an exhibition. Yeah, look at this. A lot of hate there. Okay, Hyping his fighter up. All right, all right. So now we know that the beast is here. He's ready to play against Mance. The booze. The first time you ever really, he was like a back and forth. Crowd was kind of. That was the first time that the crowd was really against. That's him. right. I have never seen a man more calmly take a blood-soaked towel into his own non-latex yeah. glove-covered hands than Ricky. He is very locked in on this match, as are all of you at home. Yeah, the traitor chants are already starting. All right, here <laughs> we go. So, Mark, before we start, please give them the rules for round number one. Compared round one. Round number one. Each of you is going to hear eight questions to the field. Those questions correspond to eight different movie categories. Each question is worth one point. There is no penalty for missing a question, and obviously there is no stealing. Once you hear the question, please write down your answer on the whiteboard. And after we ask you to reveal your answer, please show your answer as you verbalize it into the microphone. Beast, you are the favorite. Are you ready to go? I have something I'd like to say. Sure. <laughs> People what? don't like saying what? things. What? I just want to say. Growl, growl. Mind. La La Land is slightly overrated. And oh. And oh. And <laughs> oh. Sore loser, Roka. And Star Trek V has some good parts. All oh, right. That, that <laughs> was nice. Wait, wait. I just want to say. It's, I just want to say. Yeah. 
I see what he's trying to do. Yeah. What's he trying I see to do? You're trying, you're trying to get me riled up, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Insurrection was the best one. Oh, uh, see? See, no, no, wait a minute. No, wait a minute. Oh, wait, he's trying to see wait, look at what Beast is doing. We all know that Wrath of Khan is uh -oh, the Citizen kidding. Kane of Star Trek movies. And that La La Land was the Citizen Kane of 2016. And it did win Best Picture for two minutes, but it did win Best Picture. <laughs> right, I so will <laughs> remind each competitor that you do have challenges you can use on film opinion, or you can use them on the match here today. We also have the JTE rule, which you may invoke, which is if you're not sure you heard a question correctly, you need it repeated, or the answers in round two, you may use the JTE rule. And I will also remind these competitors in particular that our listeners at home do have eardrums. So please keep your shouting and your table thumping to an absolute minimum. One Never! Question. When does Sherlock Gnomes open? Right. Yes. 15 <laughs> seconds to answer the question. Here we go. Here is the mind killer. <laughs> Round number one. So Bibiani, are you ready? <laughs> Mance, are you ready? I'm, I'm ready. ready. So let's, let's get, get ready, ready to, to Schmodown. There we go. All right, Mark. Your Here first we go. question comes from the world of fantasy science fiction. What James Spader science fiction flick went on to spawn a 10 season long TV series and two spin off TV series as well? Whose right hands are those again? Whose hands are uh, bloody hands? Well, I would have said Stargate. Rocky, but I don't think it is. No. I got, uh, I got uh, one of Dewberry and uh, one oh, of Andrako. That Five, is horrifying. Four, three, two, one. Pens down, Mance. Pens down. And Bibiani. Uh, that would be Stargate. That is correct, Mance. Pretty in pink. That is incorrect. Wow. Right. Mance missing a science fiction question badly. Pretty in pink. Pretty in Not pink. even a science fiction if film. If Star Wars <laughs> doesn't end in Trek, he doesn't know it. Wow. Shocking. <laughs> Next, ask a star 80 question. Can See what Mance, happens. Can Mance come back from I this? I think Bibiani <laughs> might have gotten Pretty in pink. <laughs> action adventure. Action adventure. Who directed the action comedy trilogy, Rush Hour? Oh. He might pick Molly Ringwald for his answer. Yeah, Bibiani just laughed. Crap, I know this. But we'll see. We've Bibiani, seen, a we, frequent scoffer of uh, questions well, that he knows the answer We've seen to. him do that before against JT. Why am I drawing a blank? When I was a kid, I liked getting four, the answers right. Three, Crap. Two, one man, show the camera. Don't have it. And then say it. Brett Radner. There yep. you go, Bibs. <coughs> Directed Brett Radner. There you oh, go. All right. See what you did there. Shaded yeah. Radner. There. All right, here we go. Your next category is from the world of comedies. <laughs> Who plays Bluto in National Lampoon's Animal House? Um, Right, Bluto Utarski. I knew that this is definitely written by you. Five, four. John Belushi. Three. That's true. Two, <laughs> one. <laughs> pen down bibs. I'm a zit. Get it? What is it? What's John Belushi. Belushi. Thank you. And Scott. John Belushi. There we go. Oh, okay, right. so there we go. Three to two here. Bibs only has a one. We're on a mission lead. from God. There we go. Wrong movie. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> but those movies are. <laughs> Next category in the category of horror slash thriller. Who played the blind man in the 2016 breakout hit Don't Breathe? Oh, um. You're cheating because you're breathing through your nose. I can see it happening right now. Five, four, three. Oh, how long can I do it? Two. A minute 30. Stephen Lang. Scott Mance. Stephen Lang. Correct. Beast. Also Stephen Lang. That is All correct. Right. All right. There you go. Four, three. You don't like Stephen Lang? He's great in that movie. Shut up. All right. Here we go. Right. Stephen Lang is awesome. Yeah. Period. Period. He's awesome. Period. Period. Number so five. Avatar. Avatar. Hello. Is oh, come on. dramas. In what film does Jake Gyllenhaal play an aspiring rocket scientist inspired by Werner Von Braun? Sounds like a good musician. Mm. It sounds uh, like a guy who makes uh, delicious uh, mustard. Uh, uh, Five. Werner Von Braun. Piping hot. One pens down, please. I don't have it. Bibs. October Sky. Correct. Mance. October Sky, 1999. There you go. Oh. Right. Oh. Mance pulling out the Mance movie release dates. Here, and Bibs only has a one-point lead. All right, next category in the category of 80s movies. What happens to Goldie Hawn's character when she falls overboard in Overboard? You know the way I said that? That, uh, that Jake uh, Gyllenhaal. He was like great in City that. Slickers. He still don't like the way I said that. I have not what seen Overboard. overboard? About it. Five. No, I want to. I want to participate. I'm counting down. Two, one. Man's man. Yes, amnesia. That is correct. Bibs. Amnesia and sexism. That. <laughs> that is okay. Good. All Interesting. Right. Attacking still, the 1980s. Still not a great narrative. All right, here we go. Attacking the 1986. 1980s. Overboard. 1986. <laughs> no, that's not 86. Uh, your next category, gentlemen, is classics. Classic. What was Dorothy's last name in The Wizard of Oz? Oh shit. 
<laughs> Dorothy Gale. I thought that was a genuine reaction. No. That was really good acting. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Five. Oh, Scott. Four. Scott doesn't know it. I mean, that's all that matters, right? No, it's not. Two. She has a name, Scott. One pens down. Bibbs. Dorothy Gale. Correct. Scott didn't have it. Didn't have wow. it. Wow. Big miss by Mance. All right. Samantha Dorothy. So last question here. Bibbs has not missed. Damn if, right. If he gets this right, he will have a perfect round and has a chance for a bonus. This is not the only time he has ever done this. That's before. right. The bonus question, what was Dorothy's first name? <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Last one, category of Oscars. For what film did actress Audrey Hepburn win her one and only Academy Award for acting? Mm. Patient Viviani could have a perfect Three, game here. Two of the ground. One pens down. Breakfast Scott at Tiffany's. My fair lady. Incorrect, Bibbs. Roman Holiday. That is correct. Oh boy. Viviani has scored a perfect round here. He did it again. This is, this is, this is, this is the first perfect time match by Viviani. It's, it's one round. of the things Very that nice. you and I speculated you, before Scott. the match is how is he going to respond to the crowd booing him right. and throwing cans of beer at him? <laughs> it seems to motivate. The gentle giant, or not so gentle as the case may be. Your question, William Bibiani, this is question. just for you. This yes. is just for you, Mr. Chaplin. What were the aliens called in the movie Arrival? Oh. Oh, um. Laurel and Hardy. Ooh, <laughs> damn close. We would have accepted Abbott and Costello and or Heptapods. Oh, who's on first? Heptapod. I don't know. All right, so but still, ah. Bibiani's still at eight points here, and Mance has five. It's only a three-point lead. I had a 500 in that low. round, only got four out of eight. Dates, if on and, the board, of course, I missed the bonus eight. round. All right. Thank you. Round two is upon us, gentlemen. Round two works like this. Bring out the Wheel of Death. The competitor is going to be answering four questions. Each question is worth two points. If you're not sure of the answer to the question, you can check to multiple choice, at which point the value of the question goes down to one. Keep in mind, there is stealing in round two. However, there is no penalty for missing a question. Mr. Bibiani, you are in the lead. You may spin that wheel first. If you don't like the spin you get, you are allowed a mulligan. If you hit opponent's choice, you must stay on that, and Scott Mance will give you whatever he thinks will follow you. You okay. can spin now. There we go. You thanks, can spin. Thank, thanks, Mark. You can spin. Okay. Make your Brian Davids reference now. There's the spin. Spin is in spin. and landing on. Where's the spin? Question is, where is he going to try to? Oh. Is he getting to spy, spy movies? Or oh, he oh. wanted oh. Hitchcock. Spy movies. Hitchcock. Oh. He wanted oh. Hitchcock bad. What does he do? I want that Hitchcock. I'm going to try go again. Go for it. He's, He's going, going for Hitchcock. Hitchcock. I want that Hitchcock so oh. bad. I'm going to go ahead and scroll to Hitchcock up here at the document because I think he's going to get right. it. That's all right. No, spin's fine. He's going to get that it. That spin's fine. It that's, did what it did. That spin is That spin is fine. It went is it Hitchcock? Oh, oh, he just missed spinner's choice, and it's coming of age. Wow. Movie. I'll take it because I have no choice. <laughs> coming of age movies. Uh, nicely delivered joke by Will and Viviani. Oh, I, uh, yeah. I will be asking you the questions for the coming this of age This could be bad, movies. depending on what the Mance does. is this. Who played Veda's father, Harry, in 1991's my girl. Oh, um. Uh, Dan Aykroyd. Yeah. All right, two points. That's well, correct. Except that. I didn't even get excited that he got the answer right. I just, uh, I knew the no, question. No, you guys don't. No one cares about me anymore. All right. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Your next question. What is Katie's last name? To the Katie played by Lindsay Lohan in the movie Mean Girls. Oh, mm. I'm need multiple choice on that. Is it A. Heron, mm. B. Wieners, C. George, or D. Cassington? I don't know. Someone's yelling at me right now. Uh, George? He has voices all the time. That is incorrect. Scott ah, Mance, you can what steal. Are, what are the choices again? Your choices are Heron, Wieners, George, or Cassington. What was the first one again? Heron, Wieners, George. Heron. What was that? Heron. One point one for Scott Mance. One point for Scott steal. That is a I didn't know it. Steal. steal here. Viviani, back to you. Who played opposite James Dean as Judy in Rebel Without a Cause? Natalie Wood. Not Salminio. It was, in fact, Natalie Wood. Two, Two more points, points. For, Bibiani, yeah. for Bibiani. Last question here for Bibiani. Oh, oh, all right. Getting clobbered. For a commanding eight-point lead, 
Who plays the strict father, Mr. Perry, in the film Dead Poets Society? Um, Kurtwood Smith. Clarence Boddicker is oh, wow. I cried like a baby at that scene, and you all know what scene oh. that is. Now, oh. Captain, my captain. Now, you know Mance is going to be looking for movie release dates because if he can get a perfect round here, he can only be within two within bibs. So. But I, I, will, I will caution you. He has gotten movie release dates before, and he hasn't been the brilliant Scott sure. Mance we know, so it could go either way. Thanks. Have a spin at that wheel, Scott Scott Mance, Mance might wow. screw up. Mance, give it a <laughs> shot. <laughs> see what happens uh, next. Give it a shot. Wow, the, the confidence in this room is really just incredible. There we go, big. Hey, here comes Scott Mance. Spin is in the for Mance. Spin. Scott Mance in phenomenal shape. Jogs 19 miles every afternoon. Spy also landing on Spy Movies. He's going to spin again. Spin again? Yes, you can. You get one of those spin. Again. Right. Come on, movie release dates. He's, he, you Come know on, he's baby. I need you. You know, Christian, I'll remind some of our younger viewers that Scott Mance's picture is actually on the movie release dates wedge. Is that what he's going to get? Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Oh! oh! He missed it. So he close. Oh, oh. Tarantino. My lord. Wow. He almost spun it. Almost I hit do it. not believe what I just saw. One wow. of the that was close. near miss wedge opportunities in recent history. All right, so he's going to have to have a nice little Scott, day. Scott Mance day. knows Tarantino, though, so I don't think this is that much of a loss here. All right, here we go, Scott Mance. Your first question in the realm of Tarantino. Who played Joe Gage in The Hateful Eight? Which one was that? That would be Kurt Russell. That's incorrect. <laughs> Uh, which one was Joe Gage? Yeah, which one was Joe Gage? Bruce Dern? Looking for Michael Matz. A lot ah, of people in that Matt's movie. That's a huge miss for Bibiani because that could have put Matz away that potentially. That could have potentially put him away, yes. All right, next next question here in Tarantino. <laughs> in Inglorious Bastards, what is Sergeant Donnie Donowitz's trademark weapon? A bat. Two points for Two Scott Matz. Two big points. Two points. All right. Here we yeah, go. And I continue Scott, not hitting today. How many Oscars has Tarantino won? Let's say two. Correct. Yeah. Two more what? points. <laughs> oh. All right. Your last question here, Scott, to get within two of Bibiani. In Pulp Fiction, what is the name of the restaurant where Mia Wallace and Vincent Vega go to dinner? Oh, Jack gosh. Rabbit Slim. Two points for Scott Mance. 14 uh. 12. <laughs> coming back here. Now, this is that is exactly what he needed to do because now we go into the third round and we've seen that this is where Bibiani has struggled in the third round. So Mance has absolutely put himself back in the game. Bibiani in total control after round. Now Mance has actually decreased the gap Big from time. round one to round two. He is taking a sad song. Can he make it better enough uh, to get that the victory? That would be a hate you reference to Bibiani. Beatles, You're 1968. Welcome. You're welcome. So here we go. Round number three, Mark. How's it work? In round three, each competitor is going to give us here at the desk three numbers ranging from 1 to 20. Those numbers correspond to a movie category up here with us. Your first question is worth two points. Your second question, three. Your last question, if you proceed that far, is worth five points. There is no multiple choice or stealing in round three. Mr. Bibiani, you are narrowly in the lead, so you get the first crack at three numbers. Which ones you want? Okay, I suck at picking numbers, so I will be taking requests from the audience. She asked Ricky. Five. Five. What else? Surprised you didn't ask Ricky. Seven. Twenty-four. Can't have twenty-four <laughs> off. From yeah, 20. the crowd 20. overshot it. Nineteen. Nineteen. Five. Seven and nineteen. Manspan. Right. Okay, I'm gonna take six because that's the number of uh, Oscars okay. that La La Land won. <laughs> I'm going to take 14 because that's the number of Oscars that La La Land, the best movie of 2016, was nominated wow. for. <laughs> wow. And I'm going to take 16 because La La Land was the best movie of 2016. All right, All so there right. you go. Very La La Land specific. Beast. Yeah, Eat very La La Land growl. specific. <laughs> I will be asking the questions Mance. to Mr. Mance. All right, so Mance, in order to tie the game here and send it back to Bibiani, your first question mark. Number six. Category is the 1980s, 80s movies. Right. And the question is, for two points, what actor starred as peculiar teen Lane Meyer in the 1985 oh. cult classic Better Off Dead? That would be John Cusack. Everybody wants some of Cusack. Two, two points. points. All right. Two that, points. Mance has tied it up. It goes back to Bibiani, who can now take the lead again with two points. And his first category was a category number five. That would be William Movie Taglines. What Brad Pitt movie asked the question, are you in or out? Fight Club? Five. Four, I 
think. Three, two, one. Repeat the question. Oh. What? What Brad Pitt movie asks the question, are you in or out? Fight Club. For Ocean's Eleven. Oh. Ocean's Eleven. I knew that! Woo. All right, so now we ba we do bounce. By the way, the Ocean's Eleven came out December 7, 2001. We, we <laughs> back. Who back cares, Mance? Scott Mance for the three-pointer here. <laughs> Scott Mance holds the record for most unasked for information <laughs> in one match. There we go. Scott, you picked number 14 for La La Land's Oscar nominations, though it did not win that many. Your question is, from the world of romantic comedies, <laughs> Who plays Barry's love interest, Lena Leonard, in Punch Drunk Love? Oh. I can picture it. I know it. Five. Wait, repeat the question. There you go, one of those JT okay. rules. There you in go. the world of romantic comedies, who plays Barry's love interest, Lena Leonard, in Punch Drunk Love? Five. I'm drawing Keep a blank. Wow, using it again. Okay. <laughs> All right. More time to think. Romantic comedies. Who plays Barry's love interest, Lena Leonard, in Punch Drunk Love? Five, four, three, two, one. She doesn't have it. Nothing. Emily right. Watson. Emily, Emily Watson. Watson. I don't get the is. point, but I am right. Yeah, it right. is. All right. Now we bounce came back. Came out 2002. We bounce That's fantastic back for you. to <laughs> Bibiani now. Bibiani's going to get now category seven which was the category of war movies. War movies. You're either in or you're out with war movies. That's right. All right. What Hollywood legend played Kurtz in Apocalypse Now? Marlon Brando. For three points. Okay. I'm not Cro stupid. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see In Country, but I know Apocalypse wow, Now. Wow, the crowd is yeah. booing on that Offended one. Offended at the ease of that question. That's how I thought about the pussy galore question, in, but everyone was fine with that. In Country came out in 1988. <laughs> Congratulations, Scott. All right, here we go. You're Scott losing. Mance now, 16. Though, here's how it works. Scott Mance needs to hit his five. If he does, it goes back to Bibiani, who will then be forced to answer his five. If not, Bibiani will win and qualify for the ultimate schmodown. All right. Uh, come on, Beast. Mance. A lot of pressure now. You picked for 16 because that's the year your favorite movie and the greatest thing to ever happen to you, La La Land, <laughs> it is the greatest thing was that ever released. That had some famous people in, and your category is famous actors and actresses. Your five-point question. Name the two stars of the 1993 comedy Made in America, who at the time were romantically involved off-screen as well as That'll be Ted Danson and Whoopi Goldberg. Five points for Whoa. Scott. Wow. Oh. It is now 1917. Willem Dibiani finds himself in a very, very similar place. He has to hit this five. If he does, he is in the ultimate schmodown. Oh. If he does not, Scott Mance on, finally babes. makes it to the ultimate schmodown. The final question here, Mark. It comes, it's category 19. Category 19, Mr. Bibiani, your category, Disney movies. Okay. All right. Christian Harloff will be administering the query. All right. Michael J. Fox, James Garner, and Leonard Nimoy provided the voices for Oh, uh, Treasure Planet. Disney animated feature. Atlantis. And your winner, William the Beast. Oh, it, it was Atlantis. Not Mixed reaction here from the crowd. I always get those two confused. That's the most applause Atlantis has ever received. That is a great match, 22-19. Mance has... I always get Atlantis and Treasure Planet confused because it came out, like, one right after the other. I didn't see either of them in theaters. ...by Viviani with the Ocean's Eleven question. I thought was going to cost him, but I love seeing when both competitors nail their five-pointers. It adds for extra drama and anticipation for the next one. I'll tell you what, Scott, because you played so well in that. We're doing a qualifying Fatal Five-Way for the last spot in the tournament. If you want it, you're in. What does that mean exactly? It's five people. <laughs> five people are going to be competing for one spot. Yes. And, I, and you know what? Yeah. And you know what? I know I'm evil now, but I'm going to give him a hand. Oh. oh. Staying true All to right, the beast. Character to Scott Mance right. accepting a Fatal Five-Way invitation. Don't try that at home, kids. Scott Mance will be in the Fatal Five-Way after a match like that. You have to let him in. All right. So now we're going to hear from both the Beast and Mance, who are talking to Josh McCuga right now. All right, movie trivia showdown fans, Josh McCuga here with uh, today's winner, the creepiest guy alive. That'd be uh, William the Beast Bibiani. Congrats on your victory, sir. Please don't touch me with that. <laughs> this is the worst time. Go ahead. Talk to people. Yeah, hey, everybody. I just kicked Scott's butt. 
It was fun. <laughs> I'm gonna keep doing this this time. No more horse persons to hold me back. Uh, how do you feel about your? Uh, I don't know what you're calling this person, Ricky. Is he your your competitor? He's your my client? ticket out of this city. Uh -huh. He's my ticket out of here, and he's doing great so far. He just mopped the floor with Mance. I wouldn't go that, that far. The floor there, oh, tough guy. Oh no, no, no. There Last was no question. chance. Was they, no, there no. Was mopped. Listen, listen. You don't have you don't have to spill like an entire vat of refried beans to have to mop. You can just spill some stuff and then you gotta mop it up. I mopped the floor with Scott. <laughs> just not a very big- I'd like to call it more of a swiffering. You could just Everyone use like some paper <laughs> towels. Everyone in this schmo down is against Bibiani, except for me. I know that he has the brains and the brain power to be the number one person in Thank this you. entire show. Oh, but listen, you. they were like throwing the him softballs. Yeah. They were throwing him He's softballs. the lone Cleveland Blair Brown fan left in the NFL. I see how it is. I yeah. don't know what that means. <laughs> listen, Scott Mance. <laughs> You've lost to a lot of people, but never has there been a loss as important as this one because he's about to climb the ladder, and you're just waiting down there on the floor to get stomped on. Yeah, it's like that one movie. All right, so <laughs> you made your way into the ultimate schmodown. Who do you want to see? Who do you want to stomp it like that movie, stomp the yard or step up to the streets? Uh, thank you for the step up through the streets reference, by the way. People don't talk about that enough. I'm going to destroy everybody. I'm going to growl, growl you, and I'm going to growl, growl him, and I'm going to growl, growl, uh, you, and I'm going to growl, growl everybody. So everybody, you just, you just, you just, you just, you just, Oh, I'm gonna take down Roka. Thank Coming for you, Roka. <laughs> this, is, this is what's happening. I am going to destroy yeah. Roka, who cannot John keep Roka. to himself. John Roka here. You know what? Here. Even go, 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 go. Keep yeah. to himself. In I'm sorry, this match. you had to deal with that, Josh. Well, well, well. Hi, John. You've been calling me out. I have been calling you. You and your out. little mouthpiece over there. He is. He <laughs> is very little, petite. This little manager from Kmart over here. He, he's yeah. been shooting his mouth <laughs> off, saying all the stuff they've been saying. Yes. Right. And you come out. Yeah. Baby, good job. Thank you. You finally won one. Oh. Nice job. Nice job. You yes, finally came one. through in the, the third one. round. I finally won. But listen. Yes. I know you want to be me. Mm -hmm. I know you want to take that belt. I know you want to do what you want to do. And I respect it. I remember being hungry. I remember being hungry. And it's nice to see guys like you because you guys wake me up. You make me excited about the Schmodown again. You get me focused again. And I love it. So you've been calling me out. <coughs> do your job. And then you'll face me. I'm going to settle this once and for all, Bibbs. No, you don't. You take the hat. Take. When I beat you, I take your hat. Fine. When you beat me, you take my hat. But if I beat you, what do I get? I, I don't know. You want, you want like. Uh, you get on your money. knees. I have a bad and knee. And you kiss my feet, my boots. I have a bad knee. No. I'll kick you to your knees, and then you can kiss my boots. You can pay for my health, <laughs> my health insurance. Oh, come on. All right, fine. Fine. Yes. Fine. There it is. Josh, please. The first ever knee hat match in the history of the Schmodown. <laughs> uh, you guys can leave now. See okay, ya. Thank you. Yeah, you're thank welcome. You, I think that was that was enough of uh, hands and blood and hats and, and foot kissing. I think all you fans out there really appreciate the rivalry that has become Beast versus Outlaw, Outlaw versus Beast. Up next is uh, everybody's favorite loser. Scott Mance. <laughs> it's coming in hot here with the post interview. I'm here with today's loser. Unfortunately, Scott Mance. Listen, Scott, Wait a minute. the entire room Wait a was minute. rooting for you, okay? The entire room really was really rooting for you. Really? Because if you're watching that match, you're watching that match, you're hearing the comments from the judges, from everyone else, I did not feel the support. I no, just got to say. Mance, everybody was rooting for you. Nobody actually roots for the Beast because we don't want to see him win. I'm he, still he not is, rooting for the Beast. He has buried himself in a desert, and we are happy that he is there, but he keeps winning and exiting the desert. You you unfortunately lost today, but you've got your way into the fatal five way to get in the ultimate showdown. Was there any point in the match today where you thought, I'm out of my league? That first round, Bibbs was a beast. He lived up to his title, the beast. He was undefeated in that first round, a perfect score. And I really thought, whoa, I thought, whoa, this guy is amazing. And I went, great, on 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 the showdown, I'm going to lose to the friggin' beast. But I played okay. And you know what? I think the reason that you thought the crowd wasn't with you is because we saw the first round and we all got very nervous. Like, oh, crap. You know, it's 35 nothing in the first quarter. Can he come back? And you did. I Dude, did you had the play. last question. You were the last question. You were right there. There was You were one best spin away from taking oh, the thing from the I beast. I was one best spin away from taking it from the beast. But the beast got the best spin right. All right, man, listen, you didn't make the ultimate showdown, unfortunately, after this one, but you do get the personal invite of Christian Harloff 
to the Fatal Five Way. You were a little confused by what that is, but it's fine. I think a lot of us are very confused. <laughs> I get it now. We know what it is. We've seen it in the Inner Geekdom. We've seen it all. Are you excited about it? Who would you like to see? Do you think you can win in a Fatal Five Way, or do you think you'll be outmatched? Well, you know, I do feel, even though I lost today, I do feel really confident because I think even against the Beast, who was absolutely a force to be reckoned with, I do feel like I played okay today. And to get that personal invitation, uh, it makes me feel really, really good. I am very, very grateful to Christian and Mark for inviting me to the to that round, and I'm I'm in, and I'm pumped, and I'm excited, and I'm just ready to just I'm just ready to just do this. And I and I got the confidence, I got the smarts, I know that I can do this, right. I know that I can do this. I, I, I'm good. Roca's I'm back good. for another post. No, 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 no. <laughs> I, I'm good because I'm going to win this one because I Thank like you, listen the beast was great I was close I was close I brought it back and I brought it back Sorry. and I actually I actually was winning for about 2 minutes just like La La Land for 2 minutes I was the winner but then Moonlight came in and the beast won and listen to be in that final 5 and to, to be in the final the 5 round I'm good I'm good I can do this it's going to be a great match it's going to be a great match and I'm going to prevail it's going to be great I'm going to be awesome cuz I do know my shit I do know my shit they don't Call me moving answer Scott. nothing. I uh, so Scott. what's what? You what's something to say? What's hey? Ah! Yeah. Ah! All right. Ah! It's all right. All right. Right now. Right now. No, 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 no. Mance versus no, 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 no. Right. Right now. No, no. Right I just now. no no. I just what? want to tell you, you fought a hell of a match. Oh. And it was awesome to watch you work again. And uh I just want to say we've had our troubles, we've had our problems, we've had our, our battles. But I respect the hell out of you, man. And and this is I think this is done. Our feud is done. I think you're awesome. I love you to death, yeah. and uh, and if we and I hope we play again, because I think I'd love I'd love a shot at Mance again. You almost took one of the biggest newcomers down. You were wow. so clear. You were an Emily wow. Watson wow. question away wow. from, from wow. tying wow. it. So. Oh my gosh, this is this is love right here. I, I love this guy. I, I love you, Mance. <laughs> this is love here on the Schmodown. A man from heel to face, a man from Mance to Bespin, love. In all its forms here on the Movie Trivia Showdown, I'll be right back yelling in your face for a fantasy update. <laughs> well, no surprise oh, wow. there. Look at that. You have Ricky saying Bibiani's next champion. Bibiani, obviously very braggadocious in the fact that he won. And then how about Roca crashing? We knew that would happen. <laughs> Those two start screaming at each other in the post interview. What a match that would be if they finally met in the Ultimate Schmodown. And I also like the fact that Roka crashed Mance's interview, except this time to shake his hand. Hey, you know what? Scott Mance gave a hell of an effort. He may not have had Maxwell Silver Hammer here today, but he certainly found out that he's going to be competing again in the very near future. And the Beast, you you, you said it to him point blank during the competition. He hasn't had the best round threes we've ever yeah, seen, but he, he, he got it when he needed to today, although I still really question the sanity of anybody who doesn't know are you in or you're out is from Ocean's Eleven. Well, there you go, guys. It's going to happen. Bibiani is in the tournament. Scott Mance is not out yet. He still has a chance to make it if he can qualify inside of that Fatal 5 which will be coming up. A lot of big matches coming up. Obviously, we talked about that. We have a team title match coming up in not too far future between Rotten Tomatoes and the Patriots. And then myself, <laughs> I will be going up for the title against Dangerous Dan Merle, the champion. So there That'll are be a good lot game of great too. things happening. And obviously, the Ultimate Schmodown teams happening, the singles happening. Go to the Movie Trivia Schmodown Facebook group join there join the reddit page listen to the schmodown rundown get caught up in all the news from the schmodown for mark ellis i'm christian harloff and back to makuga to hear fantasy stuff what's up movie trivia schmodown fans josh makuga here with your fantasy update spider-man as well has joined me he is handsome and he climbs walls and he just broke the single world record box office we don't know if that's true but hey he's gonna try Talk about fantasy. We got the beast. That guy can score. Mance, he has earned his way into a fatal five way, and fatal five way is a great way to keep some points. If you think about dropping Mance after his debacle from a few months ago, you can you no longer need to drop him. I would hold on to him. He's quickly becoming maybe he's a fan favorite again. We don't know. He's now friends with John Roca. I'm grabbing some webs. I'm grabbing some webs. The beast will make a run in the ultimate showdown, and he will carry points. That's your fantasy update. I'm Josh McCuga. Spider-Man has joined me, and he has left. No, he's back. He's back. Spider-Man is back. He will never leave us again. <laughs> the greatest Spider-Man in the history of the world. That's it. Hey, guys. If All you right. like this video, click the thumbs up button. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. It'll help you stay up to date with everything we've got going on here at Collider. All right. Great match. Um, 
I love when the games come down to the final question for both competitors. So that that's always a lot of fun. Um, I'm glad that Bibiana Bibiani managed to pull it out. Um, you know, as much as we give Mance a lot of crap about movie movie release dates, he is a good competitor. And you no know, kudos to Christian for inviting him to the Fatal Five ways to still be able to have a shot at trying to get into the competition. Uh, in the Ultimate Showdown tournament, because you know, I do think he deserves a spot. He he is a good competitor. Uh, as for me in my round, I only went four out of eight again, so not a good performance. Had a couple of easy misses. Even had a couple of easy misses later in rounds two and three too. So did not really have a good night tonight. But we will be back on Tuesday for another match again. And then, I think it's like two weeks, another two weeks, uh, they're going multiple times a week as we get it ready for the Schmodown Championship. Um, also, next Friday, I will not be able to put my match up until probably late Sunday night uh, for the Friday match, um, thanks to previous engagements and whatever, so... I will we'll be back on Tuesday. We'll miss Friday, unfortunately. Um, in the Reactor League, I will reach out to Joey and ask for an extension to get my round one up for that. Um, but, yeah, it should be a lot of fun. Uh, nobody's hanging out in the chat room, so I won't be hanging out there much either. So, until next time, I will see you at the movies. Bye-bye.